okay in this tutorial we are going to see how to parse the JSON from the JSON library which is written by the Google right one of the library so this code should be automatically internally this code should happen I don't want to waste my time for writing this code right means get string get string get string instead of they have created one classical way right of doing this thing so what I'll do is that private string read JSON from assets okay and I'll write this code let's make a typical modular and you can return say builder dot to string like this I'm going to return builder dot to string and here this method instead of this method right here you can directly pass what read from this thing right so I'm commenting out this method and I'm going to write new method which is nothing but parse using JSON public void parse using JSON right which JSON this string JSON I want to parse this JSON using JSON library okay if you want to use the JSON make sure that you have this dependency in your dependencies under the gradle right group would be com dot google dot code JSON name would be artifact would be JSON and version would be what you can say 280 that would be the version make sure that this is a, under your project right if you have this thing then JSON is perfectly working okay now what JSON says that JSON says that you are going to create one class from this JSON JSON say, says that you are going to create one class from this JSON that class would be having this as a key right this as the variable name and this as the data type so name so string name string OS double version boolean is update available one inner class there would be this this would be one class this would be another class this would be one class this would be another class right okay let's see or let's do that thing now now what I will do over here is that new what you can say new Java class or you can say my OBJ or just say only my say this finish my right so here we have one my or you can create one package over here you can say DTOs DTO data transfer objects generally this thing comes under the DTOs data transfer objects DTOs okay now what you can do is that for this can you see this is one object one object is nothing but one class one object is nothing but what one class let's create another you can say versions I'm going to name that class as versions right say finish again under the DTOs I'm creating and even every object inside this array is also one class right this is nothing but represented by one class you can say Java class over here and you can say device I'm going to name it as what device under the list of devices you would be having device okay go by the inner things first the under the devices what you have string mobile and int cost right string mobile and int cost so spelling spelling is wrong fine I'm not going to change it you consider that private what you can say string private string mobile right string mobile and what int cost it is nothing but what private 
int cost make sure that this variable names are very same as your json keys variable names are very same as the json keys and let's write the getters and setters getters and setters so we have written this getters and setters okay look at the json json is having so you created this you created this right image let me remove this we don't need this image right now this all versions this would be the key right and from this you have created one class called as versions this this is also sp wrong spelling fine private string right key would be this base and private string cupcake would be i am following camel casing here as well remember that again make the getters and setters like this so we we are creating getters and setters so we created the device class we created the version class we created the my class okay my class is representing this full object so what I, i'll do is that i'll keep this thing as it is in front of eyes and from then i'm going to create the my okay so what you would be having so you would be having private string name then you would be having private string os right then you would be having private double version then we would be having private boolean right sorry private what ver version what is our wrong class name v e s this right and name key should be same remember that key should be same mapping would be done internally then private array list of what devices array list of device and key should be same make sure that i am repeating myself key should be same right you are going to make key same and here as well you would be having inserts getters and setters that's very important getter and setter right so you created the mapping class for this json so this class is exactly mapping of this json are you getting that this class is exactly mapping of this json now instead of you do parsing parsing would be the responsibility of the json and that's why we are using see json json is equals to new json i am creating and you can say json dot from what you can say json that i am passing and just pass the type information that's it you would be getting what you can say my and my which way is preferable which way is preferable json object api or this one that's it json has parsing has done you don't need to do anything you just need to make mapping class and that's it what you are going to do you are just going to make mapping class and that's it here you are passing the type information remember that this is nothing but the type information here i will override two string method see insert and here two string textual representation of an object represented by the two string right now here i can print log dot i at code cool right at code cool and json is plus my string plus anything is always string in the java that's why you don't need to call two string on it that's it and what i can do is that parse using json and read json using assets remember that presently you are reading from the file right in the next tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to fetch it from the web 
right so this is how parsing works and this is how fetching from the web will work by using woli something very standard library called as woli and it is the only recommended way to work with the woli okay let's get the output first and see what happens let's run the code and see how how much efforts json has what you can say saved your efforts right you have written this much code to parse the json don't forget that internally this thing is happening but in some smarter way right but in some smarter way okay now you might be getting so we haven't used this button right we are directly calling in the on create fine no problem if you will see the output right it will do typically this can you see json and this data this object has been created for you by what you can say json right this object has created for you by the json we have written this code nearly in a 20 minutes and this code fairly in a 2 minutes right that's the power okay now vice versa is there you can convert json json to the object object to the json right now what i'm going to do is that let me create one my object my is equals to or say my convert is equals to new my like this and this my convert dot what you can say set name say code cool dot com set name my convert dot set os you can say android right my convert dot set version 5.1 this right my convert dot set os name all versions right here we need to have the object of versions over here is equals to new versions and here you can say versions dot set base you can say android right and versions dot set cupcake again you can say android whatever i am arbitrary data i am providing to it okay then you can have array list of devices you can say devices devices is equals to new array list and here what you can do is that here you can add mycon dot all versions is nothing but I am passing this object reference right and here devices you can create go on creating the devices device d1 is equals to new device right and d1 dot d1 dot set cost you can say 8000 or 800 fine and d d1 dot set mobile android so I presently I will create only one this and let me add into the mycon dot set devices and you can pass this devices list see you created the object presently you have what object and this object need to be converted to json right how you will do that thing json dot two can you see to json and you can say my con that's it so here you would be getting string new json is equals to this right and you can log it at code cool and you can say converted plus new json 
right we are going to check new json gener gets generated or not let's run the code and see what happens and that's what your your expectation from any mapper tool you can use jackson as well right you can use json as well that's up to you but we are going to use the woli and woli works very fine with the json that's why we are getting that might be converted can you see it has converted to the json right devices nothing is coming i think i have forgotten to add this fine are you getting that it's creating the json like that and that's why you will use json from json from json to the ob json to object object to json are the two fundamental responsibilities of any mapper tool and json is one of the mapper you will find multiple mappers jackson is one of the classical mapper right in the next tutorial i am going to see web service call how you are going to call the web service using woli if you like our videos kindly subscribe us on the codecool channel youtube